Hi there, welcome back to another episode of the Barnabas Bot. So in this video, we are going to continue on our journey in the blinking light stuff. So last week, we added not one light, but two LEDs. And you can see it in the top right there. Uh, we got the LED to blink. And we also uh, got the second LED to blink. And you had some challenges to make them blink at the same time and different things like that. So hopefully you have fun exploring with that. Now that we're comfortable with making the light blink, what we want to do is take that skill and do something practical, something useful with it. And that is why you see this device in the middle of the screen. This is a telegraph um, device. And, and what that is, is back in the day, around the 1830s, 1860s, around that time, one way uh, to communicate was to actually use this device here. And what you would do is press down on the uh, circular uh, part right here. Okay, you can see with my mouse. And then as you press that, what it would do is send um, a, a, a signal across an, an electrical wire into probably somewhere pretty far, kind of like a telephone wire. Okay, it would go. And then the other side, could hear every time that you press down on this little button okay so that's when we can communicate from one place to another place kind of like a telephone but it's not voice because technology wasn't there yet where you could just pick up the phone and talk to someone but you can send these little taps now what's the use of that what's a tap so you could tap if you tap one time then the other side could hear, could hear oh okay someone's trying to tap like so that's interesting what if you actually wanted to say words right how does that work well that's where the morse code comes in so you, you could have a different combination of long taps like tap 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 that would be like a long tap or tap 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 that would be a short tap so you have short taps long taps and if you have different combinations of that that would actually create an alphabet and then once you have an alphabet you can combine them to create words okay so that's the concept there morse code is used in the military as well it's, it can be used anywhere it can be used in the classroom now we don't have a telegraph machine this device here but we do have a blinking light so we could just use that same concept so instead of taps we're going to have blinks. We're going to have long blinks and short blinks to create our alphabet and then also our words. So let me bring your attention to this here. Okay. This is the Morse code alphabet. So remember I was talking about short taps and long taps. So the short tap is the dot and the long tap is the dash here. Okay, and if we, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. All right, you'll notice A is a dot and a dash. So that means a short tap, and then right after that, a long tap. And then E is just a short tap. That's a super easy one. So if I wanted to say, you know, create the word AE, uh, it's not really a word, but let's just say that, that was what I wanted to send across the telegraph machine. I would go... I would go short tap, long tap for the A, then I would pause a little bit, and then do one tap E. And then the other side would say, oh, they're trying to say A, E. All right? So let's look at this key here. Let me move my little picture here, camera. Okay. So I've created this key so that we know uh, we can all have the same um duration or same length for our short tap and excuse me we're not using taps right we're using lights uh, or blinks because we have uh, lights uh, not telegraph machines right so for a short blink or a dot we're gonna say we're gonna turn the led on for 100 milliseconds then we're gonna turn it off for 100 milliseconds so it's gonna go on 100 milliseconds off one milliseconds that's gonna be a short blink or a dot now a dash we're gonna say it's gonna be on for 300 milliseconds so it's three times the length right so it's gonna a dash will be on 
three times the length um, of a dot and then we're going to turn it off but also for 100 milliseconds okay so the key thing here is a person who, who's reading it they just need to see okay did the light turn on for 100 milliseconds or 300 milliseconds right because 100 milliseconds is a dot and 300 milliseconds is a dash now there's two other things down here we say the end of a letter let's turn the led off for 1000 milliseconds so whenever we're done doing the letter we're just going to turn turn it off and wait for one second okay so uh if it was a it would be dot dash and then when you're finished with those two turn off for 1000 milliseconds so we know that oh it's the end of a letter and then you also have end of a word so how do you know that you're finished saying the entire word and, and the other person shouldn't wait for no more letters right well if the other person sees that it's off for 2000 milliseconds then we know that it's the end of a word okay so based on this, let's uh, actually going to try to copy this. Maybe I can put it in here. Let's try some coding. Okay, so here's my code. Oh, it kind of works. Okay, so I can go. This was for dot and dash. So here's my key so I can keep track of what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so I have that. Let's see. Let's do... Let's see if we can write a word, a simple word. Um, let's do an. A-N. So it's dot, dash, and dash dot okay seems pretty straightforward let's see dot okay starts with dot so I'm gonna just add a comment here the word and okay what do I need to do first I need to dot is 100 so a is dot dash so i need to do a dot a is dot dash just putting some notes here to keep track of what's going on okay so a dot i need to turn the led on so i'm going to use pin number seven i have two lights here seven and eight i'm just going to use number seven doesn't matter which one I'm just choosing one so digital right seven high that turns on my light connected to pin number seven and then delay so how long do I want it to be on for the dot it says 100 milliseconds up here so delay 100 and then turn it off Okay, and then what do I do at the end of a letter? Turn the LED off for 1,000 milliseconds. Oh, but I'm not at the end of the letter quite yet, right? I'm at... Um, I'm in the middle of the letter because it goes a dot and then a dash. I'm not quite at the end of the letter yet. Then the dash. So then I do digital right seven high again. But for a dash, I have to delay 300. And then I turn it off. Okay. 
And then I'm at the end of the letter, right? Because this is this is my A here. Sorry, this is my dot here. And this is my dash here. So let me make it more clear here. There. So we know this is, these three are my dot. These three are my dash. And I'll put my little note here. Okay, because you know A is both of these. So I first do the dot, then I do my dash, and then I'm done with my my letter, right? Then letter A is done, and then let's look at my notes here. End of a letter, LED off for 1,000 milliseconds. Okay. So it's already off here, the last command. Line 32 already, turn, already turns the LED off. So then we just keep it off, delay 1,000. Okay, that is my A. Let's just see how this looks, okay? I don't want to go too far and I'm totally off. Um, I'd rather know a little bit earlier, so let's, uh, let's check it out. So this should just be A. It should be a dot and then a dash. Okay. Okay, you can kind of tell. And then there's a one second uh, wait in between. You can see it's a dot, dash, dot, dash. Okay. Let's uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, an or n, I remember, is dash dot, right? Go back to n, dash dot. Now, what's nice is I already have these up here, right? So I can just take. this and just copy and paste there dash first and then copy my dot and then dot here and then I'm gonna delay 1000 because that's the end of my n word or not n, uh, n letter there and then I put 2000, delay 2000 at the end of my word because I did A and N. That's for end of the letter. Okay, let's see how this looks. Let's see if we can actually read A N. Sorry, not end of the letter, end of the word here, because I did the A and the N. Okay, let's see what it looks like. So if you look carefully, you can see it say dot dash and then dash dot. But maybe it's kind of harder to see. So what if we, you know, if you're like me and maybe you're not that good at reading Morse code, 
with the way we have it coded right here, it's not as easy to see uh, the difference between a dot and a dash. So how could we fix that? Well, what if we just made our dash a little bit longer? Maybe it'd be easier to see. Okay, because right now, uh, if you just make the, right now it's, it's harder to see. So a dot is 100 right here. Okay, what if we made the dash 500? And the dash would be 500. So just make the dash a little bit longer. Let's see how that works. Okay. A little better. Now, what if we did this? What if we even made the dot a little bit shorter? So again, just making the difference between the two of the dot and the dash even greater. Maybe that might be even better. Let's see, what if I do Oh, and you know what? I missed something. If you look at the code, my more, my key here, it says I'm for a dot, I'm on for 100 milliseconds, and then I'm off for 100 milliseconds. What am I missing? This is good. I'm actually messed up, so it's good for you to watch me mess up because <laughs> that's what engineering's like. I'm missing this one, right? I did for the dot, let's say, I turned it on for 100 milliseconds. If I look at my dot, and I turn it off, but then I didn't put the second 100 milliseconds for LED off. Right. Okay. And then also, I need to do the same thing. Add a hundred millisecond delay for my dash too. So after I turn it off, I need to put a delay one hundred. Okay. And let's make sure I do it down here too because I forgot about that. Okay, let's see if this helps. Probably will. Let's see. You can totally see it now. Yep, it goes dot dash dash dot. There we go. So we had it for 500. So what was going on? Okay. If we don't have these delays here, what happens? It goes low. If I didn't have this here, just to kind of troubleshoot here, if I didn't have this here, I would have it go low and then right away it would turn high again because remember from last time we did this each of these lines process really really fast they happen really really fast so if I don't have a delay in between this line and this line it's basically just gonna go so fast through the low that it, it doesn't work so then then what happens is it basically skips this and then just turns on again okay now for some reason before that it kind of looked like it was working kind of um, but the further we got right when we tried to actually see a 
then it, it got kind of weird. We couldn't really see the difference. So let me bring that back. Okay, let me, again, we changed this to 500 because we thought that might fix it. Yeah, I, I was wrong. I had a bigger issue. Uh, so let's see if we fix it, put it back to 300, if we can still see the difference. Now it's 300 again. Okay, you can still see it. Dot, dash, dash, dot. Okay, so you can still see it. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at 300, but again, you can play with it uh, a little bit. Uh, if you would like, you can shorten the dot or lengthen the dash to make the dot and dash uh, more more different um, which may be easier to read but actually for me I'm gonna go with this it seems seems to be okay all right so there we go we learned a little bit about Morse code we wrote the word and you saw me mess up and forget something I forgot this delay right here um, and then we saw what happened and saw how to fix it uh, so those are all good things uh part of the process here uh or part of the learning experience is for you to see the process of of this and um so i'm glad that we can make that mistake together so we wrote the word and here are the challenges okay so challenge number one right morse code and so you did that together. Write Morse code. There's this, you might have heard of this SOS. So SOS, this is the international message for help. Help me. Uh, let's say you're stranded on an island or you're, you're stranded on a boat and you need some help. You send out SOS. And what you can do is if you have blinking light on your your boat or on an island somehow uh you can do sos and someone will know that you need help so you gotta look up here and i'll have a link here uh for for uh this morse code alphabet here so you gotta do an sos s is three dots o is three dashes and s is three dots okay so see if you can code SOS and then also be able to read it out and then challenge three for let's see any five letter word Okay, so you can make it up any five letter word that you you want to do Just something a little bit harder and then let's do an interactive thing for number four A three letter Morse code And see if a partner can read it Okay, so the idea is that because you, if you're in the classroom, you just find a partner and you create a three letter Morse code. Uh, it could be any three, uh, three letter word. Okay, probably not SOS because that one everyone has done already at that point. Uh, and then the other person also creates a three letter uh, Morse code word. And then after you guys are done coding, try to read it out from each, each other's blinking light. Okay. All right, I think that's that should uh, keep you busy. Have fun with that. Uh, let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, feel free to always reach out. All right, uh, take care and have fun.